the Care of Breast Pump, which is something that I'm going to be trialing out through this week. They've sent me a pump to show you guys and obviously to try out. So I've had a bit of a play around with it already, like I've sterilized and I've cleaned it. So essentially this is the pump. It is a hands-free wearable breast pump. And the first thing that I noticed is it's so lightweight. I have another wearable breast pump that I don't use because it is so heavy. Also get like a little bra clip that clips it onto the bra so you can keep it on. You get two different size flanges. You get some breast pads, some spare parts, a charger and some really cute little milk storage bags. And they've got like a little spout on them, which the other ones that I have don't have. So I'm already like, that's a 10 out of 10 for me. And I'm really looking forward to trialing that. So I generally tend to pump once she's gone down to sleep at night. Cause I generally have like five hours before she feeds again. And it gets me like one feed out, depending on how she goes at nighttime now. I'm not sure. So I will try to pump again tonight. Like obviously it's got like the, all the settings. For those of you who don't know breast pumps, there's like a bunch of different settings. So when you start, obviously there's like the stimulation phase, which just stimulates your nipple and your milk ducts and gets your glands all going. And then obviously you can switch it to the, <laughs> I call it the milking stage, <laughs> where it essentially milks you. And so there's like a bunch of different speeds that you can make it. There's a bunch of different timers. But like I said, looking forward to it, I've already put my flange size on. And like I said, sterilized it, cleaned it. So it's all ready to go for me tonight when I just pop it on it's like sorry but it's also super cute and so i don't know if you can hear it but that is the sound of the breast pump it's super quiet like you can barely hear it i mean like you can hear it obviously because obviously it's not gonna be dead silent but it is super quiet you can tell obviously but it's still kind of discreet and especially like you know if you were to go out shopping like it's not super distracting so i consider that a positive that's the sound of the stimulation phase and this is the milking sound so not bad So I just wanted to do one last pumping session for my freezer supply before I ended the vlog so I could just wrap up the breast pump. So Ren was asleep for about two and a half to three hours so I thought I would pump while she was asleep and still give me enough time to have something in the tank for when she wakes up. So that's, that's this. That's a pretty decent tank effort there if I do say so myself. I've got one boob that produces more than the other boob and so I didn't feed her that boob before she went down because she fell asleep on the boob. So I waited, pumped. But anyway, I'm gonna put it in my little milk storage bag. I've already put the date and the time on it. Like I said, this one's just for my freezer supply, so she's not drinking it anytime soon. But I wanted a freezer supply just in case, God forbid, anything ever happened. So taking the top off and then pouring. There's like a little spout up the top that you can kind of pour into. So, this is like liquid gold. Any mum you'll see pouring breast milk is probably pouring it like her life depends on it very carefully. So that is the little breast milk pouch, but I'm impressed with that. That was, I would consider that a good pump. Truly no decent lighting in this household after like 2 p.m. on a rainy day. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here because it's pretty long as it is. It's just a nice cozy week week and a half of doing absolutely nothing. But I also wanted to do my wrap up of the Care of Breast Pump. So I used this, I think maybe two nights in a row um, after my initial trial uh, and it worked pretty well, which actually surprised me because I obviously going off the other hands-free breast pump that I had, I didn't have a lot of success with it because it was too heavy. And so therefore it, like the flange kind of, it didn't stick. But I tried this one with a different bra just did it while I was sitting down um, watching TV or reading after baby had gone to bed and it did pretty well. Like I got about 80 to 100 mils out of both pumps, which was perfect for what I needed for today when she went and hung out with mum. Overall, I do rate it as a hands-free breast pump and will definitely be my go-to hands-free breast pump as opposed to the other one that I was using. This is obviously good for when you're out on the go and it's not very loud, which was the other thing that the other breast pump was. All in all, big fan. You have a discount code as well. So if you're a mum looking for a hands-free breast pump, I would recommend this over the other ones that I've tried. So I will leave a link down below for that one as well. So thank you, Kara, for sponsoring this video. I'm a mummy blogger now. I think that constitutes me as a mummy blogger. Like I said, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up and then probably honestly take a break. Like just have a, have a rest from trying to force myself to do anything because I am burning out. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and I will see you next time. Bye.